In college at the University of Pennsylvania, I majored in European intellectual history, which is the history of ideas. So I basically was studying and reading every European philosopher that had ever, had ever written a book, uh, a lot of reading. And what it did was open my mind. It made me realize that I'm free to believe what I want to believe in, not just what my parents have taught me or what the community believes in or my neighbors believe in or anybody believes in. It made me a fanatic individualist so that everything in my life is done uh, with, that in, with, with that in mind and because of the freedom uh, that I learned from being a European intellectual history major and studying the greatest minds that have ever walked the planet. In law school, I went to the, then went to the Benjamin Cardoza Law, in Cardoza law School at Yeshiva University, and that trained me how to read between the lines, how to, uh, how to debate, how to argue, how to play devil's advocate, um, how to see both sides of the store of, of a situation which uh, instills in you, uh, you know, instead of looking one way with blinders, how you have to be open to other ways of anal analyzing things and not, not and learn that not, sometimes there's not just one way of doing things or one way of, of behaving, that there's variations, many variations uh, in life. Things are not just black and white, which is where my father's came from, the world of black and white. You're either a good person or a bad per person. You're either sane or you're insane. You're either philanthropic or you're, or you're selfish. I mean, everything with him is black and white. Uh, you're either gonna carry on the Jewish traditions and faith, or you're gonna be an embarrassment and a disgrace to your people. Everything was an extreme. So, uh, and, and, and in my life is, show, uh, on the contrary, uh, has an appreciation for all the shades of gray in between that uh, pitch black and bright white.